In most cases, a customer hands money to a cashier, and that's it. But things got more personal in Mitchell when a cashier handed a customer a lifeline. On tonight's Eye on Cuddleland, Brady Mallory shows you how the exchange is helping a man cope with his latest devastating loss. Once I figure out how to do it. Most people go to the gas station when they're empty, including Brad Roop. If he's not filling one tank at the Cubby's convenience store in Mitchell, He's filling another. When he first started coming in, it was just get his coffee and go. Over the years, Roop would encounter Larissa Donaldson and Faith Lentz. The two employees noticed the man who came in by himself wasn't actually alone. He would come in with that dog because she would stay tucked inside his coat. This blurry photo shows the focus of Roop's life a chihuahua. Named Sweetie. You get kind of attached. It's like a second hand. Root brought the 14 year old dog with him everywhere up until a few weeks ago when Sweetie died. When she passed away, I still feel like I forget something. I'm so used to. <sighs> Carrying Sweetie around. Kind of hard. After his loss, Roop didn't come back here for a while. Well, Donaldson wanted to cheer him up, so she told him she had a Christmas basket waiting for him at Cubby's. When he got here, he found out that wasn't the whole truth. I said, if you could have one thing for Christmas, for the holidays, I said, anything at all, what would that one item be? And I said, another chihuahua. That's when a black puppy named Toby became the brightest light in Roop's life. That's the first time I cried in public. Um, it's hard to hold it back right now. Yeah. Roop and Toby have only known each other for a few days now, but <laughs> they're already bonding over breakfast like two old friends. I mean, he's just a, a piranha. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best gift anybody could give is just companionship. This gift comes when Roop needed a pick-me-up because Sweetie's death is the latest in a series of heartbreaks. A few years ago, Roop lost his house and even worse, his wife in a fire. Add to that a series of health problems and years of dialysis. So I've been kind of going downhill instead of going uphill. I started falling apart. Needless to say, a dog in his coat isn't all that Roop carries with him. You don't feel like talking to people and stuff like that. That's why Donaldson and Lentz wanted to help, because customers like Roop turn into much more. They're not another dollar to us. We don't treat them like they're just a dollar to us. They, we treat them like family. Most people wouldn't even notice when someone else is feeling a little empty. I'm a big believer in it's who you have, not what you have. Yeah. And so I thought, well, couldn't give you a better present for the holidays than... Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> not a what. <laughs> Leave it to a few friends at the gas station <laughs> and a dog named Toby to see the big hole in Brad Roop's heart and know how to fill it. I really appreciate everything you all done. Oh, absolutely. More than you can ever imagine. Here. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. I give him too many. He uh, I like think it. Toby is one happy puppy. Yeah. yeah. Well, Donaldson says that she and her friend Andrea were able to make this happen thanks to a Chihuahua breeder in Mount Vernon who donated the puppy. Donaldson says that she hopes this inspires other people to help some when they need it. What a beautiful message. Yeah.